Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a replay in the Patriot. I'm going to return to Felix, who's going to be in his Brigetto Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank, and we are on Pilsen. Now, the Patriot's a favourite of mine. It's a very reliable tank. Good to make uh, a good tank for getting good games. It makes good silver. Um, and actually, it was, I believe, my first ever Tier 8 Premium that I bought. Um, well, joined, because I bought the package of the Defender and the Patriot when the Defender first came out. Now, this is going to be a Tier 9 game, by the way, and there are two artillery. So, my first ever, well, joint first ever Tier 8 Premium. Uh, definitely better than the Defender. Like, 100% better than the Defender. Uh, I, I've actually 3 marked this. I like it so much. And uh, a brief overview, because I've done other videos on the page before, so I won't give you the full stats, but a brief overview is, very nice gun, low alpha damage, but high DPM, good gun handling, uh, APCR is standard, with good penetration of 230. Uh, the premium runs are also APCR, which is alright, but if you're fighting, um, say, like a Conqueror, and you're trying to pen the pull of it, heat would be better, but kind of everything, I suppose. Because this is a 90 mil gun as well, the high explosive, by the way, I have no idea what this light tank's doing. Um, because it's a 90 mm gun, the high explosive on this tank isn't the best, but, because this tank carries a lot of ammunition, I carry 10 with me anyway. Um, usually I don't carry HE on small, low caliber guns, but, carries lots of ammo, so I'll carry some just in case there's a waffle or a ship barn. Try to get onto the Indian Panzer, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to hold this position for a little bit of time. Uh, and I'm actually going to reach the size of position, because there's a tier 9 UDES medium tank over there that I want to try and fight. Again, I miss. Now, here's another light tank, and the thing is, the light tanks this game on the enemy team, all a bit weird, uh, how they play, and you're going to see another example of that in a moment. Pre-aim the, uh, Indian Panzer, get a nice shot him. And the light can just driving through the center. Uh, no idea why. And now, I know that over to my right, um, on the western side of the map, there's a lot of the enemies. So you see, I look at the map there and I see that, and what I'm going to do is try and get one more shot in, he's in cover, I'm off to go help Felix and the team at the other side of the map. It's where I'm needed the most. Now, something else is, where the VKA is, down on the 1-2 line, artillery quite often aim down there, taking a risky cross over here. Artillery quite often aim down the 1-2 line, and I've actually said to Felix in the party, I'm going to go 1-2 line, but artillery might be aiming there. And yet, despite the fact that I've said that, I've acknowledged artillery could be here, I drive round, get a shot, and you're going to see, I want to side scrape, but I don't really want to block the... Uh, the Emil. Now here I go, I said about the artillery, but I'm going to push forward anyway, to try and get hold down on the VKA. However, turns out, I should have listened to myself, because right as I get over here, I get hit for half my hit points by an artillery, so, that's my fault, I knew that the artillery was going to be there, or there was a good chance of him being there, and I still went there, but sometimes, you have to go to these places. Now, you're going to see a good example of the small mini-map and why I like it. It's good for close-range brawling. So, Indian Panzer's now one shot. I want to get rid of him. Auto lock, move forward, see the T-10, but keep an eye on my mini-map. I see the tank behind me, and I know Felix is going to deal with the T-10, at least try and distract them. Turn him for the VK. I fire a shot in. I'm going to try and turn around now. And again, I'm looking at my mini-map, and I see the T-10 coming over. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drive towards the VK, and drive round him, so I can use the VK as cover. And you'll see me keeping an eye on the T-10, trying to keep the VK between me and him. I take another shot from the VK, but the T-10's given up interest on me, and that's going to do a full circle. Now, my best chance of bouncing the VK is to face hug, and at this point, I need a high roll to kill him. Which I actually get, so now, thinking about the T-10, again, I'm going to use the VKA for cover. For those close-range engagements, for keeping an eye on multiple opponents, and where they're at, you can try and keep cover from them, the smaller map is better. 
because you can get a more accurate idea of how close they are, what kind of covers around you, and things along that lot, things along those lines. Now, there's the medium and artillery and the tortoise. Uh, we're going to go for the tortoise. Um, I am a one shot, so I'm quite scared. I don't want to pop out. And now, what's going to happen here is. Felix is going to go round him, and I'm going to go distract him. And what I mean by distract him, I'm going to go sit in front of him and try and get the tracking shot. However, you're going to see something um, quite risky here. I'm going to side scrape him, and I can quite easily side scrape him. However, on four hit points, if he looks high explosive, and bear in mind, he's a British tank, so he's got hair, so it's a good chance he does carry some, I'd be dead. Now, I don't know whether he's given up playing at this point, but I don't want to risk it, so. I'm just going to stay here at a side scrape and angle and hope that he doesn't load Hass. But it does appear that he's just given up. Felix put a couple more shots into him. And the T32 actually picks up the kill. So this game, you saw me make a mistake with the artillery that I knew would most likely be down that line. I went there anyway. And I did get hit. So that's on me. Um, you saw some good play and use of the small mini-map for brawling. And I actually got a good result from this because of that. 5 kills, 3200 damage, 3200 assistance, was an ace tanker. And this tank is just a really good all-rounder, and I would highly recommend it to anyone if it comes out on offer. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.